from the XL Center in Hartford, Connecticut. It's American Conference Basketball on CBS Sports Network. Tonight, UConn hosts East Carolina. How many times in your career did you have six scholarship players? I, I don't think that ever happened, to be honest with you, Andrew. I mean, you always had 11 on scholarship, so maybe we had a couple of guys that never played, but there were guys at least you could put in the game body-wise. And at the bottom of the league in terms of offense and points per game. Grima trying to get UConn on the board. Turnaround is good. Ted, because I think East Carolina in particular being on the road has to try and get some easier baskets. Grima with the touch. He's got all four for the Huskies. And Purvis got Reek on him. Purvis's jumper is good. And you know, East Carolina likes to switch screens, and what happens is React ends up with Rodney Purvis. That's not a good matchup. Well, React ends up switching to Rodney Purvis, as you can see right there, and they really didn't need to switch that. That's part of their philosophy, though, but he's got no chance at being able to guard Rodney Purvis there. Jalen Adams coming off a season low three points against SMU, and he gets the roll on that one. He played the AAC tournament against other competition, count that one for Facey in the foul. Great job there by Kenton Facey being able to finish a curl off the screen, which put Andre Washington out of position because he had to give a little bit of help on that, and he lost Facey. Adam sees a lane and takes advantage to him a little bit. And a turnover by East Carolina. Purvis ahead of the field and the throwdown. 38% last year, below 28% this season. Jackson for three, yes! Lance Jackson comes in shooting hot. Last seven games, 51% from deep. Things to try to mix things up here. Good defense by UConn with Brima back in the game. Adams counted and won! Transition. And this is what, when you're playing a team that struggles to score, you got to get back on defense. As I said, not have live ball turnovers and stop them in transition. This is exactly what you can want. They have 22 points with 10 minutes to go in the first half. That's an 80 point pace. Mark and the rebound to Adams, who's been very active early. Nice feed, Purvis to Brima. And another chance at three for UConn. Rim on that. Macy on the wing, drives in the paint, fadeaway jumper is good. Earlier today about trying to shoot out of these walls as Adams will have a chance at three outside of practice this week. Well, that's a great curl into the lane. No help in the middle of the floor where there should be help. Adams underneath the basket, hands off for Brima, lost it going up, right to Facey who puts it in. Vital jumper, swish. Adams and Vital. And the three players with two fouls on a night when UConn is shorthanded once again. Adams, he's now got a dozen shooting Thursday at SMU, but he has played well on both ends of the floor this evening. And Brima with the soft touch down low. Washington because of two fouls. Adams, two more. Jalen Adams feeling it tonight. That double team's got to be a little stronger and not let a guy step through it. Purvis catch and shoot, and it's good. Anna not going away here in Hartford. Adams wide open, it's good. That was more than wide open. Not going to be an all. Wilkins on the steal. Wilkins blocked oh. by Brahma. Well, Amita Brahma is the third best shot blocker in the history of UConn. That was what you call tracking somebody down. The towel attacks and scores. The freshman looking good. You're going to see there coming right into the lane, not getting help, not getting any help at all from the screener, who in that case was in Ziggy in the rim. Purvis, 18 footer. It's good. A steal by Purvis. Purvis tracks it down. Purvis lays it on him. Down in that passing lane and makes something happen for himself. Great defense and the layup. The Huskies up 14. I'm sure the rest of the league has not forgotten as Vital misses the lay-in, gets it back, and this time it goes. He's into double figures with 11. 
Purvis trying to answer, and he does. Adams floater gets the roll. Jalen Adams has 19 by eight. They got a foul. Got a foul. They wasted, wasted all that time. And Adams to Brahma to finish off the Pirates. But you had a chance to follow him in the backcourt long before Jalen Adams got there. And then Amita Bryant with the dunk. For walk-ons in for UConn with 2.5 to go. And that will do it. 72-65 is our final score. UConn improves to three and four in the American Conference while East Carolina drops its sixth straight game.